All right, so it looks like we got another piece of the puzzle, ladies and gentlemen, another piece of the puzzle, and uh, it is definitely interesting. Uh, let's definitely break this down, but before I break it down, I want to shout out to everybody who came by the RGD podcast. Uh, it's Big Cloud Gaming, back to give another video, but shout out to everybody who came through. Uh, shout out to my panel, Foxy, Carlos, Craig, uh, everybody else who's been on here. Shout, shout out to you guys. Um, let's definitely get into this story for sure. Now, there is an uh, open world tech demo that was running on basically um, Navi based hardware. And apparently this is going to this was showing off what the PS5 is capable of. OK, now we have talked about the PS5 quite a bit on this channel. We broke down everything, price point, release date, everything, you know, what was underneath the hood. And now that we're getting closer and closer to the home stretch, well, expect more news like this to drop for the coming weeks, especially with uh, everybody getting their sneak peeks of the actual system now. But here's the full story. While we have heard plenty of rumors regarding the PlayStation 5 and Scarlet, we still don't have a good idea of what the consoles are capable of doing. According to a recent report, things will be going way beyond what we have seen in the most impressive games of the current generation. A new report posted by a former Game Fan Magazine editor on Reset Arrow revealed that he has recently seen a tech demo of a multi-platform open world game that is in development for PlayStation 5, Scarlet, and PC. This demo, which is not all that polished, runs at a solid performance and is way ahead of games like Red Dead 2 and The Last of Us Part 2 in terms of scope, lighting, and environment dynamics. They go into full detail here, and this is where it gets interesting and pretty, um, pretty telling. The demo I saw had the very best real-time graphics I've ever seen. And what I mean by that is it looked like a real game you can actually play. Not some super polished uh, Unreal Engine 4 or Unity technical demo that you would see at GDC. To me, there was no mistake in this for a current generation on PC or console. To be clear, in terms of scope, lighting, and environment dynamics, Red Dead Redemption 2 or The Last of Us Part 2 aren't even in the same time zone is this and yeah it kind of was like a shadow fall moment to me in that it seemed totally different from what i've been used to in the previous generation now granted frame rate was probably or maybe uh 25 to 30 frame ish and it was early 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 but i actually said out loud what the fuck when i first saw it shadows in particular are impressive and the overall picture quality is solid which should be a given considering the hinted power of the playstation 5 and Scarlet. One thing I found really interesting was the quality of the shadows. I especially noticed there were some approximately two to three foot high bushes when they were swaying in the wind. They were casting uh, moving shadows with fucking perfect detail, he says. No shimmering or stair stepping at all. And I am talking about the bush with maybe 75, 100 branches and 100 leaves on it. Casting perfect fucking shadows keep in mind this was just a random whatever the fuck bush he says also the overall picture quality was astoundingly solid like it used some super duper anti-aliasing the game is full 2160p but again has no shimmering whatsoever just a really solid resolve to the graphics and that's what he had to say now it is really unclear if this is the tech demo or not or not tech demo if this is the uh, dev kit uh, this is what it's running on or the legit full-fledged specifications. That is one thing they do say in the fine print that it could be a dev kit that this is just all running off of. And, you know, it's not the full, full, you know, specs or whatever of the console. But, um, I mean, from what I just read, this is uh, cool. Now, let's get into what I've said on the podcast and what they this pretty much sums up. You notice how I said when, um, in terms of the leap, I don't really expect no insane leap when from PlayStation 4 to 5. What I do expect is better textures, better lighting. I do expect better visuals, so you're going to get that graphical bump. But I do expect more refined image. I said this numerous times. I expect a refined image. I respect, you know, or I expect <laughs> um, faster boot ups. They already talked about that. They already confirmed that PlayStation 5 is the biggest leap in computing power for a console. So obviously, you know, texture popping and all that is going to be non-existent from what we're getting um games are going to boot up super quick no hiccups 
games that are going to be enhanced from PlayStation 4 to PS5 are going to be even more stunning. Games like Spider-Man are going to be running at even, you know, quicker detail. Hell, they'll probably even fix that. Well, not even fix it, but they'll make it more um, dynamic when you do the dive into the web swing. They'll make it more dynamic with PlayStation 5. And, of course, the sequel that we're going to get with everything going on. So this does not surprise me at all this is all what i've been saying on the channel and um it's good to see man this is really really cool you know the detail that this guy just went into saying that oh my god what the fuck you know after what he saw that's pretty much the type of reactions that i was expecting from this you know my big re my big thing going into next generation i just want like the, the the small gripes to most certainly be gone one of the biggest gripes that i've always had about console was the fact that we were stuck in 30 frames per second right and we talked about this on rgt on one of the episodes where we said that well not every single game we don't see running at 60 especially if we're talking about 4k not every game is going to run at 60 they're going to vary you know and this is an open world game and they're already talking about 25 to 30 frames so some of you guys might be looking at that and might be a little disappointed don't be don't don't be disappointed you're still going to get that good improvement from what we got from this generation games are going to load better look better they're going to look they're going to have more detail they're going to be more refined and this is what you're going to get for playstation 5 i understand a lot of people are putting out articles or putting out videos saying that this is going to use this graphics card it's going to use this it's going to do that when the reality is it's not going to do any of those things because they already told you way back what this thing is going to be rocking it's going to be rocking a ryzen cpu and it's going to be rocking the gonzalo apu that's it that's what you got okay so what you're going to get is going to vary depending on what the developer wants but you're still going to get that good performance out of this and this is what you really should be hyped for is the performance the boot up speeds all that all that is definitely going to be delivered with playstation 5 and of course scarlet um whether or not who has the power advantage i guess i might make a separate video for that i don't understand how anybody really cares about the power advantage in this current time but you know i'll definitely talk about that sure in a, in a later video but you know right now uh it's about the software and at the end of the day it always comes down to the software and for an open world game if somebody's blown away like this for an open world game and we haven't even seen what the first party games are going to look like for playstation best believe you're in for a treat with playstation 5 from this point on and onwards it's definitely going to be a treat to see what else you're going to get with the next generation playstation 5 and of course the xbox scarlet Def definitely believe you're going to get some pretty cool if not awesome refinements going in without a doubt that i can most certainly assure you but without further ado ladies and gentlemen this unfortunately brings me to the end of this video it is most certainly good to be back shout out to everybody in the chat hope you guys enjoyed the, today's video if you did hit that like button definitely let me know your thoughts in the comment section below is it still a day one for you are you still excited or most importantly are you even a, are you even looking forward to anything on this system like for example what is your most anticipated game going into this what's your most anticipated franchise going into playstation 5 that could most certainly make a return with the playstation 5 because remember new games are coming and also they're reviving certain franchises just saying there's there's tons of there's tons to look forward to going into playstation and uh we haven't seen what microsoft's going to do but you know we'll definitely cover that when we get there all right but until then this is big cloud gaming hope you guys enjoyed the video again i will see you guys on the next one and until then you guys be blessed be easy and i will see you on the next one you guys be good later